fee of Jan Pierce. Jan Pierce marks the 50th anniversary of his musical career. Music critic Martin Bookspan interviews the noted singer at his suburban New York home. Jan, 50 years as a singer before the public, an extraordinarily long time and a career that continues and will continue hopefully for many more years. Do you have any secrets as to how you've been able to maintain this really incredibly long span of time? I don't think there's a secret, but if there has to be a secret, I would say, well, first of all, I'm a very happy man. I've lived with my music, my family, my faith and love of God, and that makes a pretty good thing to follow. Here before me I have one file, which is one of 50, and in here are programs just from one season's activities. There must be more than a hundred concert programs in there, and there are some programs here from this year, off, off on the side. An ongoing, active, continuing career, which must take an enormous amount of energy. Has your energy level always been pretty high? Yes. Everything you do should be in moderation. Eat, sleep, exercise, but you must do them. Without exercising, without trying to f be fit, you're in trouble. I'm not an athlete, but I do my gymnastics every morning. Whether that helps my singing or not, I couldn't tell you, but it certainly helps my well-being. You're doing 50 to 60 concerts this year. Incredibly, along with that, each summer you do a musical show. And for the past several years, it's been Fiddler on the Roof, with which you're very closely identified. What, what do you find in Fiddler, in Tevye, the leading character of Shalom Aleichem? Well, I find a very personal identification with, uh, with Tevye. If you ask Alice, uh, she'll tell you that I am Tevye, and she's right. Alice Pierce is Jan Pierce's wife, friend, support, community leader, extraordinary fundraiser on behalf of Israel Bonds. Alice, why do you say that Jan is really Tevya? Jan is Tevya in his devotion to God, to his family, to his friends, his depth of warmth that he has projected certainly to me in the years that we're married, in his understanding, his eingespachtness, if there is such a word, which means stubborn, he is stubborn, but I think that's part of the drive that helped him achieve the wonderful things he's achieved in his life. Let's go back a little in time, Jan. You grew up in the Lower East Side of New York. Tell us about your parents. They came to America and they struggled like everybody else's parents who came from the other side. They came to this golden land called America and hoping to find good fortune, and they did, in, in their small way. They, they were always happy. Our parents were taught and they taught us to be happy with whatever you had. Not to envy and not to begrudge and not to uh, try to conquer fears that you don't belong in. This is life, this is what you have, and you make the best of it. Also, they stressed the point of, of education. They stressed the point of music. But in those days, I concentrated on the fiddle. Jan, a moment ago you used the word versatility, and I think that really is one of the extraordinary aspects of your career. It has covered all conceivable areas of music, including, uh, let's not forget this, 13 years singing tenor parts in the Bach Aria group. I had my finger in every pie, which I, which I love to remember. I love, I, I, there's no reason in the world why a, an opera singer should not be able to do a, a, a German lead. And there's no reason in the world why a man who can sing a German lead, who has the command of the language, shouldn't be able to sing a, a popular ballad. And that there's no reason in the world if a man who can sing a ballad shouldn't be able to even sing a popular song, not a rhythm song, but a beautiful melodic song, and to make something of it, and to treat it with respect, and have it sound. Each one should sound in accordance to what the style calls for. Well by way of uh, getting into the extraordinary range and versatility and diverse repertoire, obviously it takes a lot of work every day. Yes, it takes a lot of work, and uh, it's never too late to work. In other words, you can be singing for 50 years, you can be singing for 100 years. That kind of work, that exercise, that scale singing, which sounds 
childish, which sounds uh, foolish. A, a man has been singing all these years, but if you th think all the instrumentalists, the great ones, the first thing they do when they take a fiddle in their hand or they play a cello or a piano, they play scales to get the thing going, to get the thing moving, to get blood going and warming every, every possible uh, artery and vein that calls for producing sound or producing tone, and that's it. Have you done it yet today? Have you vocalized? No, no, it's a little early. In fact, I'm waiting for my uh, accompanist to come, which is usually here four or five times a week, but uh, he hasn't come yet, so uh, I can go, I can do it myself if I have to. All right, would you please? If you'd like to hear it. Very much. It'd be my pleasure. This is a piano. Jan, I've been struck by the wide range and diversity of the music that's on your piano. Here are two psalms by Bloch, uh, a song by Turina, Vesti la Juba from Pagliacci, Il Lamento di Federico from La Lesiana, E de Cevan la Stella, Granada, it really cut, oh, and behind it, yes, Bluebird of Happiness, covers an enormous range of musical composition and creativity. Yes, and somehow or other I've always felt that I, I've leaned and still lean towards the romantic. And I guess, uh, my old violin days had something to do with it. Let me show you, please. And for my next number, yes, <laughs> I feel a song coming on. Oh, good. And I see that Elliot is here, and we'll get together and we'll do a little number for you. Wonderful. What do we got? Tosca. All right. <clears throat>
Jen, I don't know when I've been as moved as just now by that third act aria from Tosca. It was marvelous. Could we have something in Yiddish now? Very happy to do one for you. I would like to sing a number for you called Adudale. And just to explain what Dudele is, the root of the word is do. And the Jewish people are on a very intimate term with their God, and they call him you. And this is a pious gentleman who sings a song in praise of God, and he tells them, you are the master of the world. You are responsible for everything. You are to be found everywhere. Wherever I go, wherever I stand, whatever you do, whatever I do, it is you. He says, you know, God, when things are good, it is you. And God forbid when things are not so good, it is also you. And he loses himself in the fervency of his, of his address to God. And he says, heaven, earth, land, and sea, wherever you are, wherever you are, it is you, you, you. And he ends with this passionate outburst of do, do, do. I hope you like it. And I'm going to wear a skull cap, if I may, in the rendition of this number. And that was marvelous. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think we had enough music for a while. Why don't you join me in the library? I would love to. 